When an earthquake or great storm shook the earth, the ancient Aztecs described such power with a single word. Alin. Alin is described from the Aztec yolotl, meaning heart, and yolisli, meaning life. Alin means to move and act now with all your heart. It means to follow the path in life wholeheartedly. The Aztecs envisioned wearing your heart on your face to allow your eyes to open and see more clearly. When we view our path with clarity, we move with accelerated purpose and intent. We go forward with a full and committed heart. The Aztecs called it an all-in heart. They believed that everyone had a sacred path that led to their life's purpose. It was up to each individual to discover what they needed to do in their life and then give it their all. They believed that if everyone could find their purpose, the thing that made their hearts beat fast, the entire society could find its all in. It was not just an individual endeavor, it was a communal endeavor. Acting with that kind of purpose loosens the shackles of Allen's nemesis, procrastination. Procrastination comes from the Latin pro, meaning forward, and crastinus, signifying tomorrow. This corrosive form of in inactivity deceives many into believing that they will somehow move forward tomorrow. Progress is made one step at a time. Pro means forward, and gress is to move. When we make progress in life, we move forward on our journey. There is an ancient scroll entitled, I Will Act Now. It reads in part, My procrastination, which has held me back, was born of fear. And now I recognize this secret mined from the depths of all courageous hearts. Now I know that to conquer fear, I must always act without hesitation, and the flutters in my heart will vanish. Now I know that action reduces the lion of terror to an ant of tranquility. Fear is often nothing more than false emotions appearing real. Fear of failure and fear of success can each be overcome by firmly placing one foot after another with unswerving position and steadfast resolution. Confucius says, Wherever you go, go with all your heart. But on that journey, be careful not to measure your progress against others. It's the private victories that matter most and are felt the deepest and last the longest. It's the internal triumphs that aren't recorded on scoreboards or broadcast on the 11 o'clock news that define who we are. All in is what determines success in our lives instead of the conventional measure of winning and losing. With that as a definition of success, it is possible for everyone to win all the time. But remember that much of what we want and seek in life that is meaningful and significant is just beyond the edge of our comfort zone. If we're not willing to venture out there, we will never find and have all that we truly desire. We will never fulfill our complete purpose. To reach our goals and dreams, to experience life in full color, to soar to dreamed of and hoped for heights, we have to expand our comfort zone. We have to be willing to do what is uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable. Those who practice all in and expand their comfort zone don't approach life as spectators. They get off the sideline and start playing the game. They take control of their life. They live the words that the American poet Ella Wheeler Wilcox wrote. There is no chance, no destiny, no fate that can circumvent 
or hinder or control the firm resolve of a determined soul. Experiencing all in means going all out. It means taking control of your life, no matter how out of control it may seem, with firm and undaunted resolve. In life, it is not what has happened to you, but what you do with what has happened. All in is your way out. You can't overcome abuse or addiction or obesity or indebtedness without ridding yourself of it. You can't just sort of do it. You have to get it all out. Whatever it might be, once you've decided on the direction you want to go, you need to commit with all your heart, might, mind, and strength. All in isn't something you do part-time. It isn't something you do every so often or when it's convenient. All in is something you practice every day of your life. It's a habit, a life habit that requires passion and sacrifice, but also brings remarkable rewards. Do you know what sacrifice is? Do you know what the word passion means? Passion is pure and willing suffering, and sacrifice is to perform the sacred. At its essence, passion is sacred suffering. It's one thing to suffer and be a victim. It's an entirely different thing to be willing to suffer for a cause and become a victor. So even though it has be become popular to define passion as deep or romantic love, the real meaning is being willing to suffer, sacrifice for what you love. When we discover what we are passionate for, what we are willing to sacrifice for, to pay a price for, we discover our life's mission and purpose. The words all in and passion are two sides of the same coin. They are companions, inexorably intertwined. Together, they produce enormous results. When we decide what it is we are willing to suffer for and what we are equally willing to act on, the world opens up. As the ancient Aztecs knew, when the earthquake hits, you have to get moving. And it has to be now. You have to get all in. And to experience all in, you have to go all in.